Okay, this is Chris with Quadricopter again for the M600 assembly video here. Uh, I've already taken the liberty of unbagging all of the uh, various screws and uh, things you'll need uh, during this assembly process. Uh, I've got my screws laid out here to the left. Uh, we've got some uh, rubber isolators right here that kind of uh, shelter out the, any dirt and debris that might get into the boom. Um, I've got a couple springs here for the landing gear, uh, a couple mounts that will be for the landing gear as well. Um, I've already numbered my booms one to six in the order that I'm going to be putting them onto the copter here. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, for the first part of this, we're going to just uh, start off with putting the booms together and then we'll move on to the landing gear and so on. Um, tools you'll need, uh, a 1.5 millimeter, a 2 millimeter, and a 2.5 millimeter as far as uh, uh, hex drivers go. And uh, I've got some thread locker here that I will be using on some various screws as well. So, all right, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to start off with my number one boom here. Uh, you can start by pulling out the cables inside the booms. They're just kind of wrapped up and pu uh, pushed inside for shipping. So you can pull those out. On the ends of the wires, you'll find some cellophane uh, shrink wrap that holds the connector together and keeps it all tidy. Um, hold off on taking this plastic off until you get it uh, snaked through the uh, through the copter itself and up to the distribution board. It just makes it a little bit easier uh, handling one set of wires rather than a couple just kind of being loose. So leave that. Um, the kit also does come with a uh, special square head driver that we will use in the distribution board. So, speaking of, take the uh, bottom plate of the M600 off here and you will reveal the distribution board here. There are two little arrows that say pull, so basically take your thumbs like so and it just kind of snaps up like so. Let's snake the wire out here. There's a couple little tabs you'll find here and here and here and here of how it attaches to the distribution board. So when you're putting this back on, you should hear all of those four click. Um, so we'll just set this off to the side for now. All right, what we're looking at here, uh, we have six Molex plugs that uh, communicate with the ESCs built into the booms, uh, as well as positive and negative leads right here, where the power to the ESCs uh, will be coming from. So. Let's start off with boom number one here. I've already pulled my cable out. And I'm going to snake that through the hinge. I'm going to hold off on putting the screws in it quite yet in case I need to pull this out a little bit. So now I've got the wire kind of hanging out the end of the, of the hinge here. You're going to snake it through the center of the copter and out this little porthole right here. Just like so. Now it should be plenty long enough to reach the center of this, the distribution board. And right now I'm going to put the four mounting screws into the boom here. The screws that mount the boom to this hinge are in the bag labeled M3 by 6.5 parentheses thumb. So being there's four screws to each hinge, there'll be a total of 24 screws you're going to be using. So I'm just going to pour them out to the left of me here. These ones I am going to add a little bit more thread lock or two. They do come from DJI with a little bit of their, their signature blue thread locker, uh, but to just be on the safe side, and it does mention in the manual that thread locker is advised. So for this, I'm just using some Loctite, uh, medium strength. I'm gonna pour it out into one of these used bags right here. Just a little bit. Got my hex driver. thread locker and start screwing it in. 
I'd say put these screws in about finger tight first until you get all four of them in and then tighten them down in case you need to wiggle the, the boom a little bit to make it all fit. Okay, at this point, you should have all the booms uh, attached to the copter, tightened up and loctited. We can go ahead and lower the booms down into their flight position now. The copter will start to take some shape. There we go. Just like that. Make sure none of your wires are tangled in the process there. You don't want them getting pinched on anything. Looks like we're all set. All right.